Hello and welcome everybody again. This is Yanaman bringing you another Fleet Ops audio commentary. Now I have tonight a third rematch or a third game between Beat and Old Time Pro. So they are actually going against a mirror match. Well, not exactly a mirror match. It's um so Beat is down here as the white Borg, and he's going to be optimized more than likely. And up here we have Old Time Pro as the purple Klingons, very likely a Martok here. Now, they played two previous games where Beat was Klingon, not his greatest race, and Old Time Pro as the Borg, and, Bo and Old Time Pro is pretty dead come good with Borg, and so uh, OT uh, OTP um, skew brushed him and has won both of those matches. Now, they are switching their styles, and we had some really good discussions about what worked, what didn't work, what was good, what could be been tweaked, um, and we're going to see what Old Time Pro thinks about uh, a likely skew brush, because I think Beat's going to go for the skew brush. Um, Beat's getting his conduction matrix up here, Old Time Pro scouting, Beat scouting, yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> so over here... Um, one of the things you can see that um, Old Time Pro is putting up his field yard around his Tritanium Mooning. Uh, yeah, he's Tritanium Mooning. So uh, people avert your eyes. And we're going to see what he does over here. Is he going to put up a second yard? So one of the things that we were talking about in the other game was that um, Beat, as Klingon in those other games, was going for Vorchot too fast. And so it's a small map. Duel 2 is a small map. Um, relatively speaking. And so we just didn't have enough firepower and the Borg were able to rush and uh, he just didn't have enough firepower to t get any kills. So I'm expecting Ulti P to, uh, to basically expand maybe with another field yard. Um, I almost want to see a Kadooj out of the Starbase. I really do want to see a Kadooj out of the Starbase because I think against the uh, scout cubes, it just gives you a little bit of extra firepower, a little bit of extra hull and whatnot, so that you can, and there's the Kadooch. You get the firepower, uh, it has a nice little special, you just get some good value out of it, especially in the early game. Um, okay, this here is not a Martok, it is a Tok Roja. Uh, I, I tend to feel that the Tok Roja is a better, it's, uh, well, they're, uh, Bird of Prey get some additional uh, values. Uh, Cavorts are good. I, I'm not exactly sure what the um, these field yards get, but it does get uh, early game ship bonuses as Takraja, as opposed to the construction bonuses of Martok, which allow you to do more economics and expansions. And here goes Central Field Yard. So we're going to see Kadooj and Quebec and lots and lots of that. So maybe a second one here shortly. The Starbase uh, Kadooj uh, does build, takes a long time to build, but you can see that Old Time Pro is really basically perfectly balancing his economy at the moment. He, he gets enough out there. Whoa, hello. What's going on here? Someone got a little frisky. Okay, so, um, Beat down here, on the other hand, is going for forward scubes, and got a probe with him. Uh, pretty much what we've seen in other people's match, in the previous matches, uh, Old Time Pro is going to watch this, going to know this is coming and we shall see how this is faring. He is lining up his Quebecs, waiting on... There it is. Really, again, managing his economy almost perfectly. You can see that he is spending what he what he needs to spend. Uh, as a tad, a touch on the Tritanium. That's the one thing about the Kadooj, I believe, as far as um, balance between... Uh, Tritanium Dilithium, that Kadooch helps balance it out because uh, I forget the cost, but I think it's like equal parts Dilithium and Tritanium as opposed to these Tritanium heavy Quebec. So it gives you a little bit of value in that extra resource if you're trying to get out ships. Now, here we have three ships, some scubes and a probe. 
where is beat going to attack? So a good value would be to take on... Wow, okay, so Old Time Pro has moved both of his constructors down there. And, I, and I'm thinking he's doing that as... Well, heck, I don't know. But uh, these cubes are coming in hard, fast, going to go after these um, Tom Pays. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just remembering that I uh, keep calling Tom Pays, confusing my Tom Pays and Katingas. And the Borg are going to get, maybe get a Katinga kill? I'm sorry, a Quebec kill? They really could get this kill. Oh, no, that's, that's, Okay, beat. Wasting an opportunity would have been great. I would have sacrificed a little bit of um, Starbase fire to get that guy because now this probe is taking a lot of damage. This probe is actually in trouble. Uh, as speed wise, he's going to get caught between another Quebec and a, a scout or something. Oh, but wow. This guy gets out of dodge, gets away with a little bit of murder. And okay, these scout cubes are firing on this mining station. Wasted a little bit of fire there, and these cubes need to get out of dodge because now, uh oh, now they are taking starbase fire, and that's not good. Well, 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 if, if Old Time Pro can get a. Ugh, Old Time Pro can get. Okay, is he really going to go after it? Did he get it? Is it worth it? He got engines, got. Whoo! Beat losing a skew, but that's going to hurt. That really is going to hurt. This one Tompei is going to be out here for a little while. This Kadooge on the board giving that extra little bit of firepower. Making a total of four ships on the board. Now, here comes the Borg are back in the game trying to beat down wherever they can. This skew brush is... is Okay, they need to get this kill. This Tom Pei, it Top May is just okay. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Got it. All right. So the Borg, making good on some promises to be dadgum annoying. Um, this probe getting whacked out, and uh, this little bit of skew really not gonna get that. Not gonna get that kill. But this is a good game, folks. These guys are out here, and they are beating on each other. Whew. All right. So, Boar having a little bit too much damage on this scout cube, not able to project its firepower just as much as it would like. Old Time Pro getting some good value out of his ships. Um, here, a little bit of transport going on here. Um, this scout, ooh, potentially in trouble. The one thing here is, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh, is it? Is it? Four, three, two. Oh, come on! There they go! Ha <laughs> ha! And they're back in the game. Uh oh, hello. We got fully okay. Now here's the one thing that's a problem here: is these Quebecs are now understaffed, and um, HR needs to get involved and get these guys back in, back in business. These guys need to decloak. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoops, I'm getting a little bit too excited here. Uh, the, the, I was thinking those are Borg ships. Not really. All right, so the board out and about in force. Oh man, they got this EM scoop. That's nice. Uh, old time pro. Whoa, hello. What happened? Somehow managed to get a. Oh, did they get the kill? Can they get a kill? Can they get a? Can a brother get a kill? Nope, the board cannot. And. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Borg, 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 Borg. Where are you at? 16 collective connections. Not building a scoop. These guys not getting the kills. That is really what needs to happen here. Okay, and there goes that peripheral scoop. Making its self really fell hard. Get that kill. Dad, gummit, the shields are up. And... Old Time Pro with enough firepower on the board to make a real big difference. Old Time Pro not getting okay. Borg needs to effectively get some kills. Not able to get those kills. Having to. Wow, that is. You know, here is another advantage of having this yard right over here. Borg are 
you know, people are going to raid your dilithium. I mean, your dilithium is your offensive resource. And so, as it is, as your, uh, uh, your repair center is right on the other side of the starbase, your, your ships go across the starbase, that starbase provides fire. It's just kind of awesome. So, old time pro, hurting a little bit on the dilithium, but, um, oh, hello. Excellent beat. Doing a good job of getting back on the horse and um, putting pressure on, keeping those Klingons. Uh, I don't know, honest is not the right word for this, but on their toes. Where is. Oh, hello, an adapter out there, folks. That's 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 interesting. Ooh. Let's see, let's see. So Beat is down as far as the game is concerned here. Lippet on his heels, lost a couple of ships, and needs to get back in this game, needs to get some kills, as Ultime Pro has managed to... He's got himself a seven-ship fleet here, and is really able to project some power out on the map as now can literally take the middle if he wanted. If he wanted to throw a yard out there, he just doesn't have the resources to do that. He could um, if he did. And uh, Beat coming back here trying to... Oh, let me guess. This is a full EM? Yep. Good old full EM. Uh, maybe that's a torpedo, though. Uh... So, does the Klingons wants to get in here? Yes or no? Uh, another skew out on the board. Needs another one to make this guy. Got ten collective connections. Four ships against... Oh, hello. There is the detector getting itself um, boarded. And away it goes. Here's this Kadooge. Oh, and here we go. Here we go. Come on, folks. Let's burn. Let's see who burns here. This scout cube taking a lot of damage. This scout cube needs to get out, but um, can the Klingons get some kills? Oh, the Klingons are getting some kills. This is not good. As down goes that peripheral skew. Oh no, not the peripheral. There's the uh, just the normal adapter. This EM skew is um, trying to get out of dodge. Klingons, old time pro again. Um, just excellent micro able to pull his ships away. He is literally watching every single ship taking damage, getting those back into the repair. Oh, getting that very, very important peripheral scube um, kill without taking any uh, losses himself. Old Time Pro is now firmly in the driver's seat. Beats um, resource assimilators. Now in a bit of bit of trouble. Now, does he sneak this guy all the way up to the top? No, because Old Time Pro has ferreted him, ferreted him out and they are going to take this kill. There's no way this assimilator can get anywhere. Uh, if only... Oh. He's going to try to go through... You know, I, I'd almost love to see this guy move through this nebula board these Klingon ships because this assimilator has so many crew. He could do it. He literally could do it. Um, go through here. Get a little bit of boarding going on. But, uh, alright. Let's get some transport going on. Come on. Transport. Transport. Oh, that's what you need to do. Maybe just self-destruct. Just kablooey. How many Borg ships need to self-destruct in a nebula? Yes, all of them. That's the answer. All of them. Okay, so let's take a stock of where the Klingons are at. Klingons are doing pretty decent here. They've got a decent fleet going for field research. They're going to upgrade their Quebecs. Uh, Attack Roja is going to um, further enhance the DPS available to these guys. Old Time Pro is now facing against Beat two ships, an EM Scube and an Adapter. 33. Okay, so what do you expect Beat should do from here? Leave your comments. Tell me what you think Beat should do when he's against this. 
So he's a little bit back on his heels. I almost want him to go adapters. Not adapters, I'm sorry. Assimilation. Uh, assimilators. Uh, go a DPS assimilator. Why? Um, because you're going to have that long range DPS. And those guys really, really hurt. Um, they'll force... It, it now allows you a little bit of breathing room. Um, oh, this one assimilator is able to get away with it. Because... Okay, right, so, again, what does he do? He is, he's grabbing some dodecahedrons. That's nice. Does he got two of them here? Yes, he does. Um, that's nice. Can uh, get a little bit of... Um, Get some firepower out. Uh, are these going to be intercept dodecahedrons? Probably. Let's take a look at good old intercept. Yep. Axial assault pattern. Double your firepower. Double your fun. Double mint gum. Of course, Old Time Pro is aware of this, and he just needs to snipe. He just needs to snipe miners. He, he's got enough. He can get in there, burn some stuff down. However, Beat is, um, is actually really good on Tritanium. Don't you wish you had an ability that allow... Oh, hello! Old Time Pro reinforcing his fleet with 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. This is a 10-ship ten, a ten fleet. Has found... Uh, sneaky, sneaky. Uh, Borg expansion here. Borg, 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 you are in trouble. This fleet is going to mosey on up here. And it's going to really cause you some problems. Wow, hello. Um, Beat has really changed his strategy going heavy on the Dodecahedrons. Do I have another one here? And down they go. All right, so what do you want to do, Beat? Let's see. Dock this guy. Uh, get him in here and get some unloading on before something. But uh, this guy ain't going nowhere fast. This good dude actually would love to see Imperial Stance used on this guy. Oh, and Beat did exactly what he was supposed to do. He docked it as fast as possible, got a little bit of that stuff out in out of the uh, out of the storage bays, and that's the best that you could do there. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, all right, Beat. You're 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 doing all right. You're not dead. Um, you're, you're behind the game a tad bit. You've got five ships versus ten. What do you do? Um, you turtle up a little bit. You turtle up. Now, why are you going all the way back here? I really, oh, I think you're, I think you're looking for a scout. Okay, you don't see it. Where are the Borg going to go? The Borg are going to come after your conduction matrix. That'd be great. What are they going? Where are they at? They're going after your dilithium. And there's that scout. All right. Time to get nasty. Axial salt, axial salt. We're about to make things fun. All right. Let's go, boys. Let's get some game on. Uh, what are these guys doing? This EM cube is is he a full EM cube? No, he's not. He's not a full EM cube. Oh no. Okay. Axial pattern. Get that going on. Oh, wow. They got the adaption guy. They burned through that stuff quite nicely. And here comes the... Uh, okay, down with the scout cube. This guy needs to get back up in the range of the starbase. And these guys need to burn through the ships. All right. There... Oh, wow. There went the scout. There goes the dodecahedron. Okay, this guy is gone. Um, there's another one. There's another one. Got him. Okay. So, beat getting some kills off, but he does not need to be fighting down here. He needs to be fighting in range of that starbase in so much as he possibly can. He is taking too many losses. Oh, that is an expensive, expensive... Wow. Okay, this ship is going to be dead here shortly. Okay. Here's another ship losing crew. That axial assault pattern doing an excellent job. If you can get them to fight within the starbase, it'd be great. But, um, these guys, yep, yep, they're going to give himself a little bit of crew. 
This guy gonna lose it here shortly as well, and we'll see a floating Klingon ship. Very shortly. So, another Doty up on the way. These Klingons, do they want to fight? Do they want to fight? Borg sitting on almost nothing in the dime. Okay, these guys are... Whoa, get knocked. A little bit of transport going on. Whoa, why aren't we transporting? Why aren't we transporting? Um, trying to get a little bit of fun on this stuff. Um, Klingons, ships are getting into the yellow. This is actually going to really hurt the Klingons. One of the things here... Oh, they're going to get a... They're going to get a steal! Oh, it's a steal, folks! It's a, a steal. Wow, okay. Okay, the Klingons are in serious need of some repair. They're, um, this actually gets into combat effectiveness. And Beat is... Uh, he is holding on tight. Does not want to give that up. Gets himself a Cloak Scout. Whew. All right. Old Time Pro still, still, still doing a good job getting into the, um... Uh, Old Time Pro really does have the uh, the game here. He's in the, he's firmly in the driver's seat. Got himself a second expansion. Second natural. There's the armory. Got another Quebec coming on here. Doing all right. Uh, about to run into a supply wall here very shortly. Another Kadooj. Really nice. Really nice. Dodecahedron's going up all over the place. All right. Let's, t let's take a stock. Where are you at? Where are you at? Yep. Yep. Here we go. There's the repair line. Look at those. All of those ships that are in the red really, really hurts the combat effectiveness. Um, weapon rate, fire, all that jazz uh, really actually does take a toll. It's one of those things that if you're not watching, if you don't know about it, it really kind of hurts. Okay, so special going off on the adapter here. It's a little bit awkward. Not really the timing for it. But there are some Klingon ships over here. Oh, hello. How did they find them? Oh, they got them. They got them. Good job, Beat. Beat doing an excellent job here of grabbing... Oh, look at that stuff go. Look at him go. Gonna get a couple of kills if he can get... Oh, can he get it? Can he get it? Can he get it? Got the Quebec. Got the engines. Got that kill. Wow. Okay, I think I know what happened here. Um, he puts this guy in combat and allows him to um, see with the EMS cube. No, actually, I, I take that back. This is probably more of a uh, random chance every now and again. Um, so, all right, getting some good kills here. Beat is now getting a little bit frisky. He's got three out here, and he's going up against a fleet of ten. Now, here is where Old Time Pro can make a serious stand here. Okay, if, if, yep, there we go. Old Time Pro catching this Borg fleet out of position. Going to get a kill. That's nice. These guys are going to be able to get a couple of shots off. But not as much as you'd like. And Old Time Pro doing an excellent, excellent job. Oh, we're going to see a vet. There's the vet. Old Time Pro all over that. And these ships are just putting in the firepower needed to win this match here. Yep, there goes an engines. That guy is in trouble, but the Borg are so much in trouble as well. Not even worth not even worth saying here. This adapter is in trouble. <laughs> good old good old Quebec's just nasty as far as their resiliency. What is what is the Borg fielding here? They are trying to go a sphere. And that's what he's doing. He is trying to he knows he's lost the adapter, but he doesn't have he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Now the Klingons are sitting firmly in the driver's seat. Moving his uh, assimilators away. So the Klingons are feeling quite frisky here. They know that they don't have anything that they can um, push forward. So Old Time Pro is now sensing that Beat is on his heels, of course. This, everything's moving in towards the starbase. He doesn't have anything worth 
um, worth in the offensive department. The question is, does does he have it? He's got 15. Um, this this fear could be going up here really shortly. The question is, are the Klingons going to go for the kill on it? It's almost worth. Okay, they are going to do it. Is the sphere? So here it is. Here it is. Waiting on that sphere. Got the resources. Uh, almost want to get to that 16 mark. There's the 600. These guys are getting really close. Are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? They're going to wait for the sphere. Sphere's ready. Sphere's ready here very shortly. Okay, expecting it. Come on, guys. You're killing me here. Oh, guess what? Looky here. Vorcha out on the board. This assembly node trying to get away. Not gonna happen. This is bad luck for... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Klingons, what do you do? What do you do? Okay, you see an uplink. Are you trying for a hidden sphere? Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Okay, you know what's going on. That's so wrong. Is it? Is it? They're going to let the assembly node go because they, they're watching. They want that sphere here. They want the sphere here. Nope, they don't think. Okay, so Klingon's giving away the position. Says, you know what? I know where you're at. And they probably saw the sphere here. And they said, you know what? The assembly node is what I want to go after because, well, they're not going to build up here. And uh, now we're going to have a sphere on the, build, the board. All right, beat is... Not completely out of the game yet, but he is certainly feeling um, the pressure here as now this uplink is going to go. You can also see that Beat is down to 33 uh, supply. He has no supply stations out here, and he is in trouble. So the Klingons... Ten ships. Again, nice, nice fleet here. Could get in here. The sphere is going to cause some problems, but not too many. It will protect the base, but not really, and it's not going to win the game. A, um, and the Borg don't really have a way of... If, I, if I'm doing the math right, that assembly node, there's the assembly node. Are they even going to be able to make a supply station? I believe the supply station costs supply, and uh, they're not going to have a way to get supplies. So the Borg are really up a creek. Uh, sans paddle. Actually, uh, yeah, sans paddle. Oh, look at this. Uh, look at this. Whoa, energy drain. <laughs> Gotta love the uh, Kadooge at Vet. It's quite nice. This sucker is ugly. Ugly in a good way. So here's the sphere. What is this? Beam, torpedo, uh, double regen. I'm sorry. I just, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's right. Double regen, beam, torpedo. Give himself regen. Give himself a little bit of... Uh, resistance against the beams of the Klingons, which is actually really good because they're, they're all beams. There's not really much as far as pulses or torpedoes. These guys don't have any torpedoes. These guys don't have any torpedoes. These guys have a torpedo, but that's it. So actually really smart move on the board. Uh, quite, uh, quite adept there. However, Klingons seriously in the uh, driver's seat. Oh, and uh, this uh, Borg could Quebec providing a, a little bit of entertainment. That would be hilarious if it could get this kill here. There's really nothing in this general vicinity worth uh, offensive power. He actually may get this kill. He actually may get this kill. Vorchas. Vorcha cha cha. Here comes this cloak fleet moving in up in here. Now, question is, question is, are they going to go after the sphere? You need that less than 15 second sphere kill. 
we'll see if this resistance... So the thing about this resistance, it's... 16% resistance, not too shabby. Okay, this fear needs to be very, very careful what it does. Okay, this guy, gonna get the kill, gonna get the kill, not too shabby. And here it is. Alright, so let's see the regen. Wow, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Go down and... Oh! And this guy is so dead. He used all of his energy. Um, the uh, That veteran Kaduj doing an excellent job. And that right there is good game. Beat calling it GG. And there you go, folks. How do you beat a skewed brush? You keep it in the smalls. And you just get you lots of firepower. So, great game, guys. Nice game. Even Old Time Pro saying nice game. Really liking it. Um... Well, folks, leave your comments, leave your feedback. Love to hear it. Tell me what you think of the game. Tell me what you thought of the strategies, what could have done better here and there. Be respectful, and um, by all means, if you're new to the game, want to see you online, get online. We love, we love new players. Uh, the community wants to see you. And if you're finding someone that's, you know, not to your liking, look around. There's a bunch of guys out there that really want you to will take the time to teach you the game. Uh, they want to bring you up into sort you know sort of a, a semi competitive so that you're having fun, that you're winning a couple games here and there. Um, uh, lose your th first 30 games. That's that's my advice, and that'll give you a really good feel for online play. Uh, by all means, if you ever need a game, just hit me up. If you see me online. Plenty of players do the same thing too. Um, as it is, entertaining game, quite entertaining game. And there are plenty of players out there, guys. Uh, they all, they, there's plenty of players that will take the time, just kind of like give you a little bit of a tour of what's possible. We'll give you a couple strategies worth uh, investing in. And oh wow, beat here goes and upgrades his star base. So yeah, um, again folks, hope to see you online. Tell me what you want to see out of your next next replay. Tell me what you'd like to see just in general. Um, of course, we've got the next patch coming up, 3-3. Three, three. Um, that will be quite interesting. There are some nasty, uh, nasty uh, uh, changes coming up. For example, um, defensive profile looks to be looks to be really really interesting. Uh, giving tank rolls to uh, selective ships. Really want to see how much of a tank these guys will become. And at this point, we're just looking at explosives. Actually, tell me, folks. Leave it in the comments. What do you want to see out of three six? Um, Three three. What what's exciting about three three? Are you looking forward to the new profile stuff? Are you looking forward to the Borg redo? I mean, we haven't seen anything about what's in the Borg redo. Um, you know, there's been speculation about oh so many things. Feel free to speculate even more. Uh, bring in your friends to the game. We want to see folks get on in. Get on in. Come play. We want to see you online. Throw in a little bit of advice here. And you know, if you're going to get ships, if you are any of the non board races, you should be aiming for about 10 ships. You need to get 10 ships somewhere. Uh, how do you get 10 ships somewhere quickly? You know, by all means, uh, that's just sort of a, a goal post, you know. And let's see, as Old Time Pro is just mopping up what little left there is here and there. Really should see the GG here shortly. Oh, and 77. 
77 connections. Good old diamonds. Almost looking to go after the diamonds. Oh, put them on green. Oh, come on. Kill, kill, kill. Gotta love... Gotta love vets, though. Oh, gotta love vets. Let's take a look at this guy. This guy gets... Oh, so... Dadgum nasty like <laughs> Omni armor. Seriously, this guy gets to become just a serious ugly tank. Hold durability, um, resistance against torpedoes, uh, another two to defense, a heavy disruptor. This guy just gets nasty. See what this guy's sporting? 58 defense, wow. What is this guy? 47. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Versus the 19 that he starts off. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You're in here somewhere. Ah, oh no, not the new duck. Not dude, just... Is, is he gonna come in here and he's gonna get a scout kill? Oh, what a punk. What a punk. 900. Seriously. Oh no. Seriously. A decom. Ah, <sighs> the assembly node needs to like tether one of these guys and eat it. Seriously, come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Well, folks, uh again, um, leave your comments, leave your feedback. Hope to see you on the forums. Hope to see you online. Get online, folks. It'd be great. As we we see old time pro. Ha! <sighs> Look at that. Look at that. Nine hundred down to four hundred. Able to seriously get some craziness going on here. Gets it. Gets it. All right, folks. Yana man. Signing off. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the flip side.